you are. Good boy. <laughs> hey, Tubies. It's Psychic Bob. Well, here we are. It's Sunday, and I wanted to check in with you guys. So many have been writing and asking me how things are going. Well, I didn't get out a video yesterday. Um, you know, I was not feeling well. I think the stress of the last few days has really taken its toll. Second, I was feeling very ill, uh, had stomach problems, wasn't good. I'm okay today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, lady. But I'm taking it easy. And first of all, I want to come here, first of all, again, and say thank you. Thank you to all of you who have been, you know, reaching out to me, writing, calling, checking in offering prayers, burning candles. People have been sending me pictures of candles they're burning, and they got their altars ablaze for my mom and for me. You guys are the best. Thank you. Here's a little grizzly here. Grizzly, you want to say hi? Look at that. There's the camera. See? Look at that. Do you see? <laughs> Anyways, he's here. I've been taking care of him. And uh, good news is my mom was released from the hospital. Uh, the day, remember the last video I did, which was, was like on Friday? Um, she got sent literally to a nursing home. So the nursing home is much closer to home because we were traveling like an hour to the hospital. So now we've got her here, uh, back near home and she's doing really well. Um, you know, she's already had physical therapy. She looks great. So I want to say thank you. Thank you to all of you, you know, who really, uh, have been here for me. All of you here at YouTube, you've been so kind with your letters and prayers and you know I want to tell you guys I haven't had time to sit and write everybody I'm literally I've gotten I know literally over a thousand letters in the last week from people uh, so it's physically I cannot right now write everybody but I hope you'll you'll accept my my thanks through this video and tell you how much it means to me uh, and how much it means to mom uh, I read a lot of your comments and your letters to her while she was in the nursing home there, and she was crying. She said, "These all these people are thinking about me." I said, "Yeah, they're all thinking about you." So I want to tell you thank you because it really uh, it touched her, it touched me. We're better for it, and I'm so honored to have all of you as friends here. Well, you know, I'm also going to give you some updates. So yesterday we didn't have our spirituals class. I needed a break. I really did. Today is Sunday. Normally we do the witching hour show, but we're not going to do witching hour today because I'm just, I'm not up to it. We're having a heat wave here and I'm still a little under the weather. Not bad. I'm feeling a lot better, but I just am trying to take it light. I'm eating really light. My stomach seems to be better. I can eat today. So I'm glad about that. But I did want to spend a few minutes because, you know, nothing makes me feel better than talking about Wicca or some mystical subject. Today, since we were going to have our show tonight, which is now canceled just for tonight, we'll be back next week. Um, I thought it'd be nice just to share some thoughts. You know, um, one of the things I'm wearing today, in fact, let me show it to you. Some of you have seen this before, but I got a pendant recently. It's a little starfish. Isn't that beautiful? Let's see if I'm bringing it. It's done in silver. It's hard to focus the camera on it, but it's a little starfish pendant in silver. And I just love it because, you know, my mom lives down here at a little beachside town. So when I come here, it brings out my sea witch side. So I put on my starfish pendant today and I was thinking about sea magic. Tomorrow on Monday, depending on the schedule and how Second Bob feels, uh, we may be able to go down to the beach for a little while, also depending on weather, and do a little sea magic. I'm not going to promise it because I don't know, but I'm going to try, okay? Uh, so we may have that tomorrow. Um, and also horoscopes. I got horoscopes. So we'll probably do both or, or one or the other anyways. But, you know, as I told you, I'm a bit of a sea witch. I love sea magic in the ocean. And uh, I brought a picture with me to put in my bedroom. You know, whenever I travel, I carry sacred stuff with me. And I want to show you this wonderful picture. Some of you will know instantly who this is. This is the sea goddess uh, in her form known as Yimaya. Yimaya is known as the mother of the sea. She's an Orisha in the um, uh, Santeria tradition. 
and she's believed to be the ancient mother from whom all life comes. And many people, especially in the Latin American countries, uh, interesting, even devout Catholics in the Latin America countries believe in the sea mother. And many people have little shrines to her in her house, in their houses. And you know, while I'm down here, since I'm attuned to sea energy, I thought it would be nice to to have a shrine to Yemaya. So I had this in my room. And I want to show you some interesting details. In fact, let me come down here closer. Yemaya is often uh, uh, depicted walking in the water, walking at a beach, at the ocean. And in this picture, you can see that she's got behind her the beautiful sea. It's foaming and swirling. She's also the goddess of the moon. And you know that the moon rules the sea tides. And so Yemaya is always shown, usually walking on the beach. A lot of times at nighttime here, you can see the stars in the sky. And one of the things that I love about this picture, if you look down here, there are flowers on the water. And in the tradition of honoring Yemaya, what they usually do is go to the seashore and people bring like white or blue flowers. In fact, these look kind of bluish and whitish. And they throw them in the sea as an offering to the sea mother. And I love Yemaya. I actually think Yemaya is also a form of the goddess Isis. Isis was also a sea goddess in the Roman times and uh, throughout the Roman world she was worshipped. And I feel like they're very similar. To me, they physically look similar. And in my meditations in connection with the Sea Mother, she really does look a lot like this. And you'll notice on her head, she's got a star. It's actually a starfish crown. It's, uh, you know, the star is the ancient sign of the goddess and the ancient mother and magic. So she's a magical mother who guards the seas and it's believed that all of the universe came from her. She is the great and ancient mother. So I want to share that with you today because if you're looking, oh, you're gonna, sorry, I'm klutzy today. If you're gonna be looking for a goddess, maybe you're new to Wicca, hello Chris, and you wanna research goddesses that maybe to have as a matron goddess, you might want to explore Yemaya because she's really venerated throughout. Uh, most of her worship, from what I found, is in the Western world, like North and South America. Um, I don't know if she's venerated in Europe. I'm curious. I haven't seen anything on her in Europe. Uh, but she originally comes out of Africa, uh, where her name Yemaya is, is um, you know, it's actually of African origin. Uh, she's oftentimes depicted as a... Uh, either she can be in many forms. Sometimes she's shown as a white woman. Sometimes she's as a black woman. Sometimes she's as a Hispanic, Hispanic woman. This one I think she looks kind of Hispanic. Uh, but she usually has long hair. It's like the ocean. Sometimes Yemaya is shown in like a mermaid form. Like her body will be a fish, part fish, part human. Um, so she takes a few different forms. But if you want to, you know, work with Yemaya, um, her colors are blue and white and silver. That's kind of the predominant color. So if you set an altar to her, which I'll show you a, a proper altar when I get time. I can't today. I don't have all the stuff. But when I set up a formal, more formal altar, uh, I'll show you the colors. But if you want to start exploring that, you know, blue, white, and silver are pretty much her colors. So uh, you might want to explore that. While I've been thinking about Yemaya, I've been also reading about the great goddess, and I thought I would read to you, um, oops, hold on, let me grab my book here, uh, a section uh, from Wicca, A Guide for the Solitary Practitioner. And this talks about the great and ancient mother. Let me read this to you. This is a section on deities. It's called The Goddess. So let me let me read this to you. The goddess is the universal mother. She is the source of all fertility and endless wisdom and loving caresses. As the Wicca know her, she is often of three aspects, the maiden, the mother, and the crone, symbolized in the waxing fool and waning moon. She is at once the unplowed field, the fall harvest, and the dormant frost-covered earth. She gives birth to abundance, 
but as life is her gift, she lends it with the promise of death. This is not darkness and oblivion, but rest from the toils of physical existence. It is human existence between incarnations. Since the goddess is nature, all nature, she is both the temptress and the crone, the tornado and the fresh spring rain, the cradle and the grave. But though she is possessed of both natures, the Wicca revere her as the giver of fertility, love, and abundance, though they acknowledge her darker side as well. We see her in the moon, the soundless, ever-moving sea, and in the green earth of the first spring. She is the embodiment of fertility and love. I'm going to stop there. So as you can see, the ancient great mother has so many wonderful and amazing attributes. And, you know, as it said in that reading, she is the mother of the boundless sea. And so today I just want to pause with you and spend a moment and remember and reflect upon the great and ancient sea goddess, the sea mother. Whether you call her Isis or Yimaya or Inanna, Whoever you call the great and ancient mother, you know, I encourage you to explore her. Explore her in her oceanic aspect as goddess of the sea, goddess of the moon. You'll find that you really can't separate her. I know some people say to me, well, I worship an earth goddess and that's all I worship. And that's fine. But really the earth goddess is also tied to the sea because eventually the land moves into the sea, which is her domain. And the moon guides the sea. So it's all really connected, you see. But I think, you know, as I've been reflecting on my mom, you know, with her healing, I was praying to the great mother for her to send her life force to her. And many of you wrote to me and told me that you understood my struggle. They said you had had problems with your mothers being in hospitals. And some of you even lost your mothers. And... Um, you know, you gave me so much peace and comfort with your sharing of your stories. And I thought, you know, what unites us all is that all of us, at least those of us here at Spirit Channel, we all unite under the Great Mother. There's a mother greater than even our earthly mothers who loves us and nurtures us and protects us, sustains us, heals us. And so I invoke that mother for my mother while she's healing. I'm invoking her still. still. And um, I just encourage all of you, explore the ancient sea goddess, the mother of the sea, and, and bring her into your life. She has great power, great beauty, and she'll bring a lot of healing and blessing to your lives. So there you go. There's our ancient sea mother. Well, guys, I am so glad you're here today. Listen, I want to say thank you. Thank you for, for being here. Thanks for being part of Spirit Channel. I, I know that a lot of you are missing our normal routine with all of our classes and psychic messages and everything. And I just want to say thank you for staying with me, even though things have been a little rough here and a little different. Uh, you guys have been great support to my channel. And as I promise you, we are going to get back to our normal schedule. Now that mom's passed the worst of it, and she's back home, uh, or close to home, I should say. She'll be home soon, but uh, she's doing great. We're going to get back to a more normal schedule. Uh, tomorrow, as I said, on Monday, just because of the timing and where I am, I may go and do a beach vlog tomorrow. We may not do horoscopes till later. I may do a vlog first and then horoscopes. But we're going to get back to our schedule. And on Tuesday, I am hoping to have messages from the spirit world up for you. So we're going to get things going. But I just want to come here and, and thank you and, and hope that I have your permission to uh, just to take it light today and rest a little bit. I still need a little more, a little charge. So I'm in my big easy chair here and I'm enjoying life. I got on my Gucci shirt and I got on my silver star, my starfish that connects me to the ancient sea mother. Got my good book by my side. Life's going to be okay. 
Thanks for being here, guys. I love you. Listen, keep it here at Spirit Channel. Tomorrow we'll have more adventures, hopefully a vlog. If weather's bad and we don't do that, we'll definitely have horoscopes. Either way, we'll have something. But thank you for being here, and I look forward to, to hearing from all of you. Listen, tell me in the box below how things are in your world. Let me know, uh, you know, have you gone traveling? Have you been to the beach? Uh, you know, I'm loving it. I, I've been down here, but I haven't got a chance to really see the beach. But I hopefully tomorrow I can make up for that. So I'll share the beach. Tell me, have you been to the beach or what are you doing this weekend? I'd love to hear from you guys. You guys are best. Sending blessings to all of you. We'll see you back here tomorrow. And until then, may you always blessed be.